Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to take everything we learned in the last lesson to design a futuristic gun. Okay, so let's get it started. The first thing is that I'm going to be using the rectangle tool right here. And I have no stroke. And then for the fill, maybe select something gray. Uh, about there. Then I start with a rectangle. Okay? Very easy. Then let me zoom in. I'm going to draw another rectangle right here and make it darker. I just click on the fill from the properties panel, then on the color, and then make it darker a little bit. And just clicking and dragging that little circle, and that makes it darker. I press OK. And then I create another one right there. Oops, let me press V to select the selector tool and bring it a little bit up with the arrow keys. You can use the arrow keys, okay, in your keyboard. And then make that even darker. Click on the fill, then the color, and make it even darker. Okay, now I want to change the order. I want layer 3 to be at the bottom, then layer 2. There you go. You know what, maybe layer 2 and 3 make them larger, like this. All I did is select both layers, I press control, then click on rectangle 3, and then I just extend vertically. There you go. Now control click to deselect everything. And now I press letter U. I can also select the rectangle from here. And then draw a little rectangle right here. Make it clearer. You know what? I want to make it a little bit clearer than this one. So, for example, if, if I want, I can just go to the workspace and pick any of those colors. Okay? But if I want to change the color of my shape, instead of using this one, the fill from the properties, I prefer to just double click on the layer I created. If I double click there and I change the color, it changes live. You see? I can see the changes as they happen. Let me press cancel. And if I change it from the properties panel, I don't see that change. You see? I'm changing here, but nothing is happening in the workspace until I press OK. You see? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the properties panel and just work by double clicking on the image in the layers panel. Then I'm gonna make this clearer, like this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to select this guy. Let me press V to select the transform tool and then control click. Whoops. I clicked, but now I'm editing this layer. Let me press ESC and then to cancel and then control click there. I had to zoom in a lot, so let me bring this out a little bit. And now I'm going to change that color to have the exact same color as this one. How do I do that? Very easy. With the color picker dialog box showing, I can just click anywhere on the workspace. So if I click here, I change to that color. You see? Now, my object and that rectangle have the same colors. I press OK. And there we have it. Then, how about let me select the rectangle tool again. And I'm going to put a little line right here, which I want at the top of every layer. Let me put it at the top. And maybe duplicate it. To duplicate, I just select the transform tool and then Alt and put it a little bit up. I'm holding shift. If I release shift, I can put it anywhere, but if I hold shift, I constrain to either vertical movement or horizontal movement. Right now is constraining vertical movement. Then control click. Okay, it's looking good. 
Now let's create another rectangle right here. A little bit bigger. And I want it to have the same color as this one. How do I do that? Well, double click in the layers panel and then just click on that object in the workspace. Uh, but I want it a little bit darker. Maybe like that. Not too dark. I'm gonna double click again. I select that dark gray, press enter, and then I'm going to add some other lines right here, but th those are gonna be darker. Let me I just draw a little rectangle, double click on the layers panel and make it darker. Yes, like that. Now I press V to select the transform and then I hold Alt and Shift and move it to the side like this. Okay, now control click, maybe another one. Control click, then Alt, Shift, click and drag. And that's it. Now maybe add another detail right here. I'm gonna control click on this shape and then Alt, click, drag. And I'm just gonna modify this shape like this. Put it uh, almost at the center between those two, between this distance and this distance. Okay, I'm liking it. And then how about a little circle? Just click and hold and I select the ellipse tool. And look, if I start clicking and dragging, I can draw any circle, but if I hold shift, this constraints and creates a perfect circle. And if I hold alt, it creates a circle from the center. Okay, I'm gonna put it like that. And with the transform tool, I just put it in place. And now for the next part, I'm going to select the pen tool. Okay. And I'm going to draw something like this. I click, then click and drag, then click and drag right here. Then just click, click, click and drag to create a little curve and then click and drag a little bit and then click here. But I want this layer below everything. I can either click and drag on the layers panel or I can press Control shift open bracket. And that brings it to the bottom of every layer. That's a way to manipulate the order of your layers, okay? You can press Control open bracket to bring it up. You can see it right here. Actually, let me rearrange my panels. You can see, take a look at the layers panel. I can press Control open bracket and it brings it down. Or Control closing bracket and I bring it up, okay? And if I press Control shift closing bracket, I bring it to the bottom. Okay, now let me change the color, double click on the little image and then click on the little barrel, maybe make it a little bit darker, like that. Okay, everything looking good. Let me create another layer right here, inside, like that. And now I have another shape here, but this layer has the same color as this one, so I want to make it clearer. The, just double click on the layers panel and make it clear like that. Now let's add some other details like for example I'm gonna use the rectangle tool again. What if I add a little thingy right here? A little rectangle here then another rectangle from the handle like that and maybe have those layers darker. I'm gonna pick the selection tool, then control, click and drag on both. And then if I want to modify them, I'm going to modify both. I can, if I double click on one of them, I will only change one of the layers. I don't want that. So control, click and drag, 
And for this time, I'm not going to change it here. I'm just going to click in the properties panel because I don't see those functions in the top bar. So that's why I'm going to use the properties, the properties panel and just make them darker. I have to press OK to preview. Yeah, I like that. Well, maybe add a little bit of contrast between this one and this handle. Let me bring it a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more. I just click on the color again and yeah. But I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to control click on this layer because I have the selection tool and I'm going to make this lighter. Yeah. Yes, I'm liking it. And now I'm going to select this one and then the lines, the interior texture and the top one and make them lighter. I bring the properties panel right here. I can bring it out here, properties panel and make this even lighter. There you go. Now I have some contrast. Yes, I think it's working. And then I'm going to add more details. Let me select the rectangle tool. I'm going to add a little bit of base here. And then another one right here. A little smaller. And this one I wanted at the bottom. I press Control Shift Open Bracket and make it darker. Double click on the Layers panel. Whoops. I clicked in a little area, not on the image. When you double click on an area, you bring out the layer style. Let me cancel and double click on the image and make it darker. Yeah, maybe bring it down a little bit and make it thicker. Yeah, maybe I'll be a little bit longer and maybe I'm gonna create another one another rectangle inside here like this to have as counterweight for this to balance the gun okay and this one I want it to be double click on it and then just double click there and I then click on the handle there we are almost done all we need is this little detail for the trigger okay and we're done. Those are going to be almost the same color as the handle. Okay. Let me select the pen tool for that. Then click, click and drag, click, click, click and drag, click. And I close it. In here, I have a little bit of a mistake. Don't worry. I'm going to show you in the next lesson how to modify your drawings. And now let me continue right here with the trigger like this. And now this is tricky. I don't want if right now this is the handle, right? And I don't want to continue drawing the li like this. I want the shape to be like this. So to do that, I have to, I can do a little trick to have the handles pointing to different directions. How? I just hold Alt and then click and drag one of the handles. Ah, now they are isolated. Okay, then click here. Well, maybe Alt click here again. There. And then I'll click here and then click to close. That's it. Very good. Maybe this one make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. A futuristic gun. Now in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to make little modifications to your drawings. Okay? See you in the next lesson.